Special thanks to Patreon supporter Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Garrett Wolf here bringing you another Minecraft World War II aircraft tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Arado AR-234 C3 Blitz. The Arado AR-234 Blitz, Blitz translating to lightning to English, was the first or was the world's first operational jet-powered bomber built by the German Arado company during World War II. Produced in limited numbers, it was used almost entirely for aerial reconnaissance. In its few uses as a bomber, it proved to be nearly impossible to intercept. It was the last Luftwaffe aircraft to fly over the UK during the war in April 1945. So yeah, the Arado AR-234 here, a very interesting aircraft. Um, one of your kind of first jet-powered uh, aircraft ever, and kind of what helped pave the way for uh, the type of aircraft that we have now. This here is the C3 variant, which basically took the Arado 234 previous variants and destroyed to strap one more engine onto both wings, giving it a total of four jet engines. As you can probably imagine, increasing its power um, by about 100%, uh, honestly. So uh, definitely a very cool aircraft and a awesome addition to our World War II lineup, and especially if you're looking for some kind of later war uh, type of aircraft, this right here is definitely going to be that uh, for your builds. Before we go and move in to take a look here at the Arado 234, uh, I do want to go and give special links to Patreon supporter, supporter Yeg Tiger for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more, you already do feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video description where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a few cool requests you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel. It's really greatly appreciated so definitely feel free to check that out. Again, links will always be in my video descriptions. With uh, that all the way, let's go ahead and dive in here to take a look at the AR-234 C3. So going in and diving into it, we have uh, basically both a land and an in-flight version. This aircraft does sit full on the ground, so we do have the ability to do both an in-flight and landed version in this tutorial, so we will be covering both. But up here in the front, we have the cockpit. This is kind of a full glass nose, very typical for uh, Luftwaffe bombers. As we progress further back, we get to the fuselage here and the tail, horizontal stabilizers, vertical stabilizer, all that. And we have the wings here, which uh, has these four engines, um, two on each wing. Uh, which definitely give this thing a lot of power uh, per the size of this aircraft. This loadout we have on it also has some bombs, so we have basically some large bombs mounted on both sides. I would say that uh, these are probably close to either 500 or 1,000 pound bombs. Either one can uh, probably work right here, probably closer to more 500 pound bombs as it would probably make sense. But yeah, 500 pound bombs will say three in total, one in the center, two on both sides there. So. Uh, overall pretty nice aircraft and we have also the in-flight version as well So you'll have that also open to you as a possibility if you are wanting to um, Build the aircraft in flight and not land it. But yeah again, you'll have those two abilities for you throughout this build Both without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer All right guys, so moving into our first layer here. We're we'll going to be beginning with layer number um, two. Now we're beginning with layer two because layer one is basically just going to be adding the bombs on to the bomb of the aircraft. So it's a little bit easier for us just to go ahead and start from this point and then go back and add the bomb bombs on um, for the next layer. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive in here to layer number two. A few things I do want to mention real quick before we do is that first, if you are completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to start these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is we're building the entire center line of the aircraft and then we'll be building the uh, right side. Also the other, and then the left side will be up to you guys to copy over in between layers. Both sides are pretty much completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side will be done on the other. So, again, pretty straightforward stuff when it comes to that. In uh, addition, we do want to go ahead and cover that uh, we will be building the aircraft in the in-flight configuration, and then at the end of the video we will be covering how to go ahead and add the landing gear on as a modification. To kind of dive into that and positioning this aircraft correctly, uh, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to basically the ground and we're going to go ahead and build two blocks of space up and then we're going to have layer two start. So just again, you're going to have two blocks of space between the layer two here and the ground level. Very important if you go back to bed at the landing gear. Anyways, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a row of polished um, diorite. And this right here is going to be a row of nine in length. Toward the direction you want the front of the aircraft facing, we're going to place down an Arabic top seven and dark oak with trap door. Then going to the back here, we're going to place down a row of four pistons upside down. However, if you are not on um, Java and 
or a different version, such as Bedrock or Pocket Edition. Instead of four pistons here, I would place down two more polished direct full blocks and then two polished direct top slabs as an alternative. We will be using a technique uh, that is only available for Java players, so that is why I'm giving you that alternative. Java, go ahead and place the pistons, and other versions, go ahead and uh, place what I stated before. Anyway, so after those pistons, we're going to go ahead and place down two polished direct top slabs and then two iron trap doors coming off those top slabs. We're going to go ahead and skip a space of one, two, three, four blocks back and then place down our iron trap door on the end there. So again, we have a space of four between this iron trap door and this one here. That right there is going to conclude our center line and we're going to go and start working around to the sides. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on the side of this narrow brick slab, as well as one and two white stained glass panes back. We're also going to take our diorite walls and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven diorite walls, then two white stained glass panes, and then two skeleton skulls, and then two iron trap doors like that going down our center. And that right there is going to basically create our fuselage. At this point here, we want to go and go back to our third and side, or sorry, direct wall, and we're going to go ahead and build three blocks out to the side. One, two, three. We're going to place down a iron trap door like so, then one, two, three direct top slabs, and then after those direct top slabs, we're going to go then place down two stone brick top slabs. Or actually, my bet it's going to be four of these polished direct top slabs, and then a stone, two stone brick top slabs. So just go ahead and extend that by one. We then want to go and go to the second iron or polished direct top slab from the front. We're going to place down an iron trap door and the second one back. After that, we're going to go then grab ourselves end rods, and we just want to go ahead and place down two blocks above this base, two end rods on the bottom there, and then also an iron trap door come off this stone brick top slab like so. We're going to go then place down two stone brick top slabs here, then one, two, three, and four polished direct top slabs forward, and then an iron trap door. Or actually, my bad. This outer engine is going to have a bird sherwood trap door instead. So, just like that. And after that's all done, we can go ahead and then just delete these blocks. Like so. And after that is all complete there, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer number two. Take a look at it from above as we should have from the top down view. Go ahead and take what we did on the right side, copy it over to the left side, and this is what you'll have finished for um, layer two. Anyways, though, with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number one. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 1. For layer 1, we're going to go ahead and go down to the bottom here. We're going to go ahead and go back from this polished direct full block. We're going to go ahead and go to the second polished direct full block. We're going to place down a quartz top sub underneath it like so. We then want to go ahead and uh, count back from this quartz slab. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And our 7th block back, we're going to go ahead and place down a block of netherite. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the block of netherite toward the front. Then a block into the right going back, save so a total of two blocks into the right, a polished black stone wall, and then a dark oak trap door closed against the side of the wall. We're gonna go then take a birch wood button, place it on the side here of this second or this kind of last um, block of another right, and then also a birch wood button there on the bottom. After that's all done, that's gonna do it for that bomb there. And then we're gonna go and go out to our wings here. We're gonna go ahead and place down a block of another right to block underneath this end rod here, a wither skeleton skull going forward, block into the right back. Polished black stone wall, dark oak wood trap door like so, and again the birch wood buttons on the sides here of this rear block like so. With that all done, that right there is going to basically conclude what we have there for the bombs. You'll do that the same bomb over there to that side, and once you have that all complete there, that's going to wrap up everything we have for layer one. With that, let's move on to layer number three. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, we begin with we're going to start off by placing down a uh, black stained glass block on top of this dark oak wood trap door, and then a dark oak wood button. Come off the side of that block going forward. We're going to then go back from this block. One, two, three more. So you have a total of four black stained glass blocks. And then we're not going to be doing an interior build, so we're just going to go ahead and close this off with a black concrete block here on the end. We then want to place down a row of four of green terracotta, a polished anside block, and then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven green terracotta blocks back. Then three polished diorite blocks. If you're on uh, Java, we're going to go ahead and place down two upside down pistons like so. If you're on a different version, other than Java, we'll go ahead and place down a polished direct full block and then a polished direct top slab on that, where that second piston is. After that, we're going to place down a polished direct upside down stair, a polished direct top slab on the back of the stair, and then a birch wood sign coming off the side of that top slab like so. With that done, going back up to the front, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of this glass block here. Then two mossy cobblestone walls, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 green terracotta blocks back, two mossy cobblestone walls, then a green stained glass pane, and that right there will basically finish that off going toward the rear there. 
Now once we have that all complete on the left side and the left side only there will be a tripwire hook on this second green terracotta block. That's going to be like pretty much the only difference here in the aircraft. So again that's going to be on the left side here and the left side only. After that however we're going to go ahead and then grab our iron trapped or iron yeah iron trap doors we're going to count back one two three four five six and our seventh green terracotta block we're going to place down a iron trap door to the side and three back for a total of four we're going to place down a narrow row of three like that going back after that's all done we're going to then place down two stone brick walls here then one two three four and five mossy cobblestone walls going forward after that's all done we want to go ahead and then place down a black concrete block on top of this uh, polished our top side here and we're gonna go then place down two green terracotta blocks back from that and then we're gonna place down a polished um or sorry a block of netherite and then a wither skeleton skull on the end there after we have that done uh we want to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block coming off this uh black concrete block here and then we want to grab our polished diorite and we're gonna place down two or sorry, three styrate full blocks like this going back, two green terracotta blocks, and then a dark liquid top side here on the very end. After that, we're going to then go forward, a mossy cobblestone wall, and then a sandstone wall, like so. We're going to place down there a black concrete block right here. Then going back from it, we're going to place down one and two green terracotta blocks, a polished netherite block, and then a wither skeleton skull. And then to the side here, same thing we did before for engines. Uh, we're going to place down one, two, three, three and four mossy cobblestone walls this time though a sand snow wall and then going toward the back here we're gonna place down two stone brick walls like that back grabbing our iron trap doors we're gonna go, ahead and go off this stone brick wall a total of seven iron trap doors so we're gonna go ahead and place down one two three four five six and seven and a row right next to it one two three four five six and seven like that out to the side same thing will be applied to both sides there, and that right there will basically get what you have here for layer number three complete. This is what it looks like for the top down view, and with that we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, layer number four. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. One thing I do want to cover from layer three real quick is going to be the addition of Wither Skeleton Skulls come off these black concrete blocks here in the front there of those intakes for the gen engine. So, just go ahead and make that one quick uh, addition and we're pretty much going to go ahead and continue. Now, at this point, we're going to go ahead and then place down another brick stair on top of this black stained glass block in the front here, followed by a row of three of black stained glass full blocks back behind that stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block after that. We're going to place down a green terracotta block, a green shulker box, two green terracotta blocks, a iron bar, uh, three green terracotta blocks, a green shulker box, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten green terracotta blocks back, and a dark oak wood stair here on the very end. After that, going back up to the front, we're we'll down a wither skeleton skull on the side of the stair, and then one and two black stained glass panes back, and then another brick wall like so. We also want to place down one, two, three green terracotta blocks back, one, two dark oak wood stairs, and a dark oak wood corner stair like so. After that, two more green terracotta blocks, and then one, two, three dark oak stairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, um, basically green stained glass panes like that going back. And after we have that done there, we're going to go ahead and then take our green terracotta, we're going to go off this block here, a total of four out to the side, so one, two, three, four. And we then want to take our dark oak wood stairs, and we're going to place down one, two, three, and four stairs out to the side there as well. Now at this point here, um, actually sorry, it's only going to be three stairs out to the side, so one less like that. At this point right here, you have a few options of what you can do. You can either use a piston um, for us on Java, or you can use a end portal frame, which kind of works, kind of not. It's not the greatest. Um, it does have that weird look on the top of it, but it is an option for you guys to place. So you can place down this end store, end stone, or end portal frame, whatever you want to call it. Um, however, for us on Java, we'll place down a piston. So again, that's a good alternative for you guys is to use the end portal frame. We're going to go then place down one, two, three, four pistons or end portal frames across there. And then one, two, three, four dark oak wood slabs directly after that. Once we have that done, going forward from this piston here, we're going to place down one and two more pistons. And we're going to then place down a dark oak wood slab on the end piston like so. We'll also take zombie heads and we'll place it on these two green ter or those two green or mossy cobblestone walls like so. After that is all done, in the center row here, we're going to place down a green carpet on top of this wall here. Then a dark oak wood slab. 
and then a piston like so. We're going to place down a second piston after that. And then we're going to place down a dark liquid slab. After that, we're going to go then place down a daylight detector. And then a dark liquid trap door after the daylight detector. And make sure that that is closed like so. And then a green carpet like this. We're also going to place down a dark liquid trap door coming off this dark liquid slab there. Once we have that all finished there, we're going to then place down a uh, another road to the side here. We're going to have a piston on top of this black concrete block and then when we're going forward. We're going to go and then take a birchwood slab, place down a birchwood slab like so, coming off that piston. And then going back from these two pistons, we're going to place down an additional two. Then a dark oak slab, daylight detector, and our dark oak trap door. Have that closed like so. Uh, after that, we're going to place down a dark oak slab on top of this wall here. And then going forward from that, we want to place down two mossy cobblestone walls. Or actually, two dark oak trap. Or we're going to move this dark oak slab forward one. So this is just going to go right here. And then on these two mossy cobblestone walls here, we're going to place down two zombie heads like so. Anyways, back from that dark oak slab, we're going to go then place down a piston. Then another dark oak slab, daylight detector. And that will finish that off. We're going to go then place down two pistons, one, two. Then two dark oak slabs going back, and then two daylight detectors like so. Or rather, actually, it's just going to be the two dark oak slabs there and no daylight detectors. At this point here, we're going to then go five dark oak slabs off to the side. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five daylight detectors like so. Now, a few options here. Uh, first is going to be if you're on a different version of Minecraft uh, from Bedrock, from Java, we can go ahead and use virtual trap doors on the bottom there instead of the dark oak trap doors to close it. Um... It does work, it's not the greatest, but um, it does help with that, basically what we got going on in the bottom there. You can also turn these to night mode, however I don't like the look of those at turn to night mode. So us Java players, we can go ahead and type in slash give space at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. Pressing enter will give us this glowing stick. We can go up to these iron trap doors and actually left click them until we get selected open true. And by right clicking, we can go ahead and set these to false. And what that does there is basically close those trap doors. Now, while we're at it with our debug stick here, and as Java players, we can go ahead and now go up to each one of these pistons and right click these pistons. And it should um, set it like this. You may have to uh, left click until you get to selected facing up and or my bad, not selected facing. It's going to be selected extended false. And by right clicking this, set it to true, and it will get rid of that top line there, and which really helps with kind of the shaping there and the flow. And we can go so go ahead and also take this time to go to the bottom pistons we have down here and also apply the same thing. Just note that if you do update a block around a piston, so, for example, if I place the block right next to these piston, it will cause the pistons to reactivate and go back to their normal state. So just keep that in mind, um, and uh, go, going forward and all that stuff, so try not to uh, accidentally place anything on those pistons, because you'll have to basically redo that with the debug stick. But yeah, nice tool for us Java players to really create some cool designs there, and really help with the shaping there of the aircraft. And the end portal frames do have a, the same height level with, this, with these kind of glitch pistons so those are also a possibility again to use for the aircraft one thing that is different and i'm going to point out is on the left side here we do have a end rod or two end rods coming off this second dark liquid slab here on the other outer edge of the wing this is going to be on the left side of the wing and the left side only so just make sure that when you copy both sides over which i recommend going ahead and probably doing at this point now that you include that end rod there over there on the left side and this right here basically will be the overview for what this layer will look like once you have both sides complete we do have some banners here for this layer, so I will be going ahead and grabbing the materials I'll need for those banners, and I'll see you guys here shortly to go ahead and cover uh, making the banners here for the aircraft. Alright guys, so when it comes to making the banners here for the aircraft, they're pretty simple to make. You're going to need a loom, two black banners, one green banner, two white dye, and a green dye. We're going to start off by going ahead and start with these little front banners here. We're going to place down our loom and go ahead and go into it. We're going to place down both our black banners into our loom and our green dye. We're going to split the banner in half with the green on the bottom, so just like this here. And this will be done for both banners. At this point, we're going to place down each one of these banners back into loom one at a time. And we want to go ahead and start off with our first banner. We're going to select the line over here vertically on the left side. And our second banner here is going to be lined vertically on the right side. That right there will create these two banners that look like this. After that's complete, we're going to go ahead and take this other banner, this green banner, we're going to place it into our loom and our white dye. We're going to select the line vertically of white 
something like that, and the line going horizontally, like so, cross like that. So you basically have this big white cross. By placing this banner back into loom and our green die, we can go ahead and then do the actual pre-assembled cross. So it looks like this, so it's a little bit thinner there on the sides. And grabbing this, we'll place it back into our loom. We're gonna go ahead and then select the line across the top there, and the line across the bottom with green. And then lastly, we're just gonna go ahead and then do a green border all the way around the aircraft, or all the way around the banner like so. And it creates this nice kind of iron cross or insignia marking that's on very common on the fall aircraft. Now for this be for these banners to be placed, very simply, we're going to place down in this banner here on this narrow brick wall, so we want the green facing toward the rear, and in this glass pane, we're going to have the green facing toward the front. So it should look something like that, and same thing will be applied to both sides. After that's all complete, we're going to go ahead and then take our green banner here, and we're going to go to our third green stained glass pane from the front here, and we're going to place down our green banner like that on the side there for that little logo on the side of the fuselage. With that all complete there, that's going to wrap up everything I have there for layer number uh, four for the build and with that let's go ahead and move on to layer number five moving into our next layer We have layered five for layer five to go ahead and get started with here to place down a dark oak trapdoor on top of this first black stained glass block Followed by two narrow brick slabs back from it a daylight detector a dark oak wood trap door And then a dark oak wood button on top of that green shulker box We're gonna go then go back to this iron bar section here to place down an iron frame on top of it with a polished anisite block in that iron frame like so we then want to go back to this next shulker box here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood button on top of that as well, and then a iron bar going back from it like so. Going back to our tail, on top of this dark oak wood upside down stair, we're going to place down a green terracotta block, and then go one, two, and three more forward, followed by a green stained glass pane. Coming off the side of this dark oak wood, or this first green terracotta block here, we're going to place down a total of three dark oak wood trapdoors up to the side. And we're going to go then, after that, place down three dark oak wood top slabs. And after that, we're going to place down a second row of three like that afterward. We then want to take our dark oak trap doors and we're going to go ahead and then place down one, two, and three dark oak trap doors. And after that, another row of three of dark oak trap doors going to the sides. Now, after that is all done, that's basically it for the horizontal stabilizer. And really, that is it for um, that center line. And going ahead and moving to the sides up in the front here, we're going to go and place down on the left side. So so very clearly pay attention on the left side we're going to place down two zombie heads like this a daylight detector and a dark oak with trap door on the right side it's going to be slightly different we're going to place down a green stained glass pane and then a mossy cobblestone wall and then our daylight detector and our dark oak with trap door so there is a difference there make sure you do pay close attention to that um basically on what's uh, done there on both sides but anyways that right there will basically conclude everything we have there for uh layer number um, five and with that we'll probably move into our last final layers. Alright guys, so moving into our next uh, or I should say our last final layers, we have layers six, seven, eight, and nine. So uh, layer six through nine. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're gonna go ahead and go to the tail of our aircraft. We're gonna start off by placing down a row of one, two, three green terracotta blocks and then a mossy cobblestone wall. We want to then take our green carpet and place down one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And they're going to place down two levers. They're going to be aimed toward each other like so. And then again, two green carpet back like that. And same thing will be done over here on the other side. So we're just going to go ahead and take this over onto the other side as well. Like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a green stainless paint on top of this block here. Then a black concrete block. Another green uh, terracotta block. And then a green stainless paint. We're going to place down two green terracotta blocks up. Dark oak wood button on both sides of this top block. And then a dark oak trapdoor coming off the side facing toward the back. We're going to go then place down a dark oak stair on top here. And there's a stair directly behind it like so. Now there's two back-to-back -back stairs. With that all complete there, that's going to wrap up my tutorial there for the in-flight version of the AR-234C3 Blitz. At this point in time, we're going to go ahead and now move into the, in, or the landing version, which will include basically going over how to add the landing gear on to the model you can see in front of us. So with that, um, that is it for the in-flight model. Let's move on to the landing version. All right, guys, so moving into the landing gear, we're going to start off with going ahead and making our front gear. We're going to start off by going ahead and going to the section directly behind this quartz slab. We're going to place down a stone brick wall and we're going to then delete this direct block above it and place down a stone brick wall in that spot as well. We then want to go ahead and delete these um, two polished direct blocks directly behind that and we're going to place down two iron trap doors above these in that place like so to go ahead and create the wheel well. On the bottom of this stone brick wall we're going to place down two polished black stone walls like so and then a wither skeleton skull that will be on top of this second wall back like so. 
on both sides of this uh, wall here and place down a birchwood fence gate and have it opened up toward the wall itself and then a birchwood sign here on the side there of those fence gates. We're going to go then place down two more iron trap doors back on both sides and then two more birchwood signs like that on those iron trap doors. So just like that. After that's all done there, uh, that right there will pretty much wrap up the most part. At this point here, we can go ahead and kind of do a little bit more. And this is going to be uh, depending on what version you're on. If you're on Bedrock or Java, or sorry, Bedrock or Pocket Edition, I'll just place down a nice skeleton skull on both sides there with that polished black stone wall. However, if you're on Java, we can go ahead and kind of one-up this. We'll go ahead and grab our debug stick again that we used earlier. And basically just a random block like some concrete or whatever and instead of the skeleton skulls we're going to place down a we're going to skip a space from the walls place down a block like that we're going to go then place down a lever come off the side of that block by left clicking the lever until we get to selected facing and then we can right click the lever like so until it rotates and connects up to that wall same thing will be done over here as well like that and basically that right there will basically complete both sides there of that uh, forward wheel and that right there will basically finish off what you have for that um, so that right there is pretty much it for the front wheel and let's go ahead and move on to the rear wheels And lastly moving on to our back wheels We're going to be going ahead and going to this section here Now what we're going to do here is we're going to be going ahead and breaking the skeleton skull As you'll see it does cause these pistons to basically act up So we're going to go ahead and leave them as is for right now Now to go ahead and kind of build off of this We're going to go ahead and grab a stone brick wall And we're going to place it down coming off this piston here Then we're going to place down the end rod that goes down like so and then we want to go and then place down a polished blackstone upside down stair coming off this end rod here to the side. We're also going to place down a stair on top of that and then two stairs on the back there like that to go ahead and complete our wheel. We're also going to place down a skeleton skull on the side of this stair right here. Then on this uh, section here we're going to go and delete this skeleton skull right here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down two polished, or sorry, two dark oak with upside down stairs like so to the side there for the kind of door that opens up. And we'll go ahead and then take some green carpet and just place it on top of the stairs there for a little bit more um, detailing. Now at that point, that's pretty much it for the wheel there. And to kind of go ahead and add on to this to make the wheel look a little bit more realistic, we can go ahead and make these two banners here. Now these banners are pretty simple. I'm not going to go ahead and show you guys how to make them in a loom because they're that easy. But basically it's a black banner with a gray line on the right side and on the left side. So you have two of those banners. And then you're just going to go and do a black horizontal line across the top. Black horizontal line across the bottom. Same thing for this banner, and you'll get that wheel design. And we can also go to this side over here, and we can place it down on this stair as well. We can't place it on this stair, so just try to do it so that the gray is facing toward the inside there of the wheel. And obviously, you'll take the same thing, apply it over to the other side, and you'll be good to go. Uh, don't forget to go ahead and fix uh, anything that was broken. Now, just this thing to keep in mind is that the pistons will break the blocks that are underneath it as they do extend. So you may have uh, part of your bomb deleted here if you're on java so just make sure you replace that and again we want to go ahead and grab our debug stick and select these pistons here same thing using our debug stick like that and right click on them and once we have that all complete there that's going to basically wrap up my design there for the landed version of the ar234 and with that that will complete my tutorial overall for this aircraft hope you guys do enjoy the build and are able to put it to good use if you do end up using it do i see you guys give me proper credit for it this being thing from a silent build between my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites as long as you guys give me proper credit for your freezer for a project you guys are working on overall enjoy the build have fun with it all that fun stuff with that though thank you guys again so much for watching again a big special thanks to patreon supporter yeg tiger uh, for making this tutorial possible and as always feel free to check my patreon page link is always in my video description uh but with that uh that's gonna do it for this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been garrett 204 and i'll see you guys next time